<laughs> oh, that reminds me. Did I ever tell you about the time I got my wisdom teeth removed? No. So, uh, have you gotten wisdom teeth removed? No, but I know people, I know one of my friends did earlier this year. Mine haven't come in yet. Ah, okay. Yeah, but you want to get them out as early as possible. But, um, I was right. Yeah, because my dad got them out when he was, like, in his 50s. God damn. Yeah, or so. Like, it was, it was, like, years after he should have. And, yeah, that was, um, a day and a half for him, to say the least. But, um, I got them, like, they were starting to come in when I was, uh, like, around 18, and, uh, they were like, alright, so, uh, we want to get them out as early as possible. If we do it now, uh, it won't be as much of a problem going later down the line. And then they were, like, looking through my x-rays, and then they were also looking at my mouth, and were like, okay, so we notice, um, under your tongue, there is, like, some tissue that is restraining it, which absolutely there should be, but it's, res but it's, like, for some reason, it's restraining it even more than normal. Like, because before, like, to give you a mental image, picture, like, a cat sort of peering its head sort of out of a hole. But it's just, like, a little bit. Like, that's how far I can stick my tongue out. And essentially, it was like, um, it was like, all right, so while we are, while we're, uh, going in, taking out the wisdom teeth, why don't, I got, I'll tell you what, we will just snip a part of that tissue and stitch it up while we're working on your wisdom teeth, and your tongue should be able to stick out like normal. And I'm just like, and my only question was like, so I'm going to be put under when I do this, right? It's like, yes, absolutely. I'm so like, well, I mean, I'm already going to be in a world of pain for a week or two, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, why not? Fuck it. And I went through with it. Could not eat anything for a good three days. Like, oh, I, could, God. I could not, uh, like, you, because usual, usual thing, you can't really eat solids or anything without, with, with uh, just while you're recovering, but, yeah. like, I couldn't move my tongue at all, like, anytime I moved, oh, it was oh, like, oh. yeah, you ever get, like, a, like, to give me an image, you ever get, like, a paper cut? Imagine that just under your tongue. Uh, yeah, that's, it would hurt. That's awful. Yeah, it was awful awful it was absolutely awful and by the time the week was up though my god like it was like to give you a better image of that cat now instead of a cat peering its head out now a cat is has half its body just like hanging outside of the hole that's how far my tongue could go just that my um my friend carson she got her with some teeth removed earlier this year she had like six of them six yeah, she had, like, six fucking wisdom teeth. Oh, my God. Like... Yeah, no, one of them, like, melted into another. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Teeth are weird. Fuck. Teeth are whack. Fuck it. Dude, fucking tell me about it. Uh, oh I don't God. know if I've ever mentioned this, but one of my canines is more up front than the others. Oh, yeah. I know how that feels. Dude, when I was, like, younger, I forget this when I was, like, seven or eight... Like, one of my baby teeth just refused to let go, so one of my adult teeth coming in was just like, ah, well, if you're not gonna move, then I will, and then just started messing up one of my gums and pushing out forward. Legit, like, if I were to take a picture of my teeth, you would see one of the gums just being, like, kind of, it looks like something just cut out of it. Legit, the dentist had to go in, remove the baby teeth, push the adult tooth forward, and cut off the gum. Yeah, I um, I don't remember when I realized that like that canon was up. I don't remember if it was like that before I had my baby teeth removed, which hmm. I had to have like three baby teeth removed in eighth grade because I was a oh. very late bloomer. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of the same. I, again, I was the same way as well. I I don't remember how many, but I remember they had to remove I think most of my bottom and top row of baby teeth because they just were not coming out. Yeah, so, same here. I, I went to school once, and I horrified out the kids with, like... You, you've watched Invader Zim, right? Yes. It's like, it's, it was that girl scene. I got chocolate bubble gum! And he just opened his mouth, and it's just nothing but, like, drool and all that. You can't see teeth. It was just that. Oh, God. <laughs> I legitimately... I feel like I have lost more... And I'm going to say this, and I want you to hear me out. I feel like I've lost more brain cells than I could ever count in my life because I have been put under, I think, honestly, far too many times than I should. Uh, the anesthesia. Yeah. Is getting 
you. I uh, <laughs> I forget when it was, but I legit, like, I was put under at one point, and I was just, it was on nitrous at one time, and it was just so high. I think I call it, like, Anastasia or sometime. <laughs> like, it was something weird, <laughs> and my dad was just laughing, it was just like, Okay, so, uh, <laughs> I think you mean to say when you were under anesthetic or anesthesia, uh, you were like Anastasia, and, uh, I want you to know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was that fucking Disney movie, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> Fifty. <laughs> The one, with, the one with Doc Brown, yeah, that's that's the one. Yeah. I, I I legitimately took a picture of myself, said to my friend, and it's like caption this, and it was just like when you're trying to go to sleep with that bl five minute blunt keeping you high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I um, oh my god, what I was gonna say. I forgot what I was gonna fucking say. <laughs> I no, just yeah, I don't think of it under anesthesia, so make it out what you will. I haven't either yet. Don't worry, give me enough time. Enough blunt force mm. fuck trauma to the head and I can tell you what it's like. <laughs> <laughs>